Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to make an epoxy resin ocean wave wood letter. Now these decorative nautical uh, wood letters are very easy to make uh, using Total Boat uh, Maker Epoxy. The wood letters themselves uh, you can find at, at a, a lot of arts and craft stores. I found this one at Home Goods, uh, very reasonably priced. But the letter itself a little bit plain for somebody that likes the uh, likes the water, likes the ocean, likes the beach. So I figured I'd just try to add uh, one of the ocean waves. Now I've done quite a few of these ocean wave projects, mostly on cutting boards. Um, for this project, I'm using Total Boat's Maker Epoxy. It's a one-to-one uh, -one mix by volume, so it's very easy to mix. Um, I added a little a blue dye uh, to one container, a little green to another, a little white to the third, and I left some clear uh, after mixing it for about five minutes slowly. I paint on the blue uh, where I want the wave to be, and that's going to be the base of the wave. I then take a little of the uh, aqua green and just drizzle that right along the edge of the blue. Now you can play around with different colors. You know, you could go to a real dark blue, you could do all greens. You know, depending on if you want it to be a, a tropical looking or, or local. Um, anyway, after the green, I then drizzle on some clear. I also added some clear uh, behind the green, and I'll show you why in a minute. It, it allows the all of the different colors to kind of flow together or cross each other nicely. Uh, the last color is the white. This is going to be the, the froth of the wave and I just add that along the edge of the clear. This is a, a, a real fun little project. It only takes, you know, 10-15 minutes or so. And you can do it with a bunch of different, um, you know, I mentioned cutting boards before. I've, I've done um, the glass of a picture frame. I've done clocks like this. Anyway, to make the wave, I use a hair dryer. And it's actually uh, not only the air blowing out of the uh, hair dryer, but also the heat from the hair dryer that's going to make the, uh, the cell structure of the, of the waves themselves. You can just, just blow it all in one direction. Um, I find that using a little straw or uh, the inside of a big pen, um, I can get a little bit more detail on the waves. And then uh, just a, a trick of the trade, if you do um, you know, drop any of the epoxy resin onto a part of the wood that you don't want a wave, you can usually remove it just with an alcohol wipe. Uh, then I let it sit and dry for about two days and sand off whatever drippings are on the back and you've got a finished product. A very easy to do, do it yourself project. Uh, we'll call it a nautical ocean wave epoxy resin. Uh, and again, uh, made with um, totalboat.com's maker epoxy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check us out on the web at uh, www.diyeasycrafts.com. You can check out all of the other ocean wave projects um, and a variety of other do-it-yourself nautical uh, projects. Thank you very much.